thank you so much for clicking on my video in this channel we talk about voodoo stuff and in today's video we are going to talk about santa marta la dominadola a spirit in the dominican voodoo <laughs> As always before we go further into the video I would like to thank all of you who always watch my videos who always like my videos who always leave comments that really help with the YouTube algorithm guys and all of my subscribers too for you who haven't subscribed to my channel yet what are you waiting for okay if you want to support me please subscribe to my channel and click the notification button so that YouTube may notify you whenever I upload a new video I also have an announcement guys I just started an Instagram page because I'm starting to promote some products that my sister makes okay she makes a lot of good products a lot of purses for women and sandals earrings and necklaces they are very beautiful they're like African style purses sandals and earrings so you know African styles and voodoo styles they're like the same okay i know y'all people you know how to dress y'all are lit okay i know how to put your swag on so i know you're gonna love them okay so i'm gonna put the link down below under the video or in my bio so you can check it okay so everything is gonna be like very cheap they're not expensive at all okay and then we'll talk about the delivery if you're interested in one of them okay and you see like um most of the products are like women products but you'll see like i have some necklaces that you can buy okay for men too so yeah men can wear those necklaces too okay there are different type of necklaces that you will find and they are very very beautiful and i will put the pictures up in there so that you can have a clue okay so yeah please support my sister and support this channel Santa Marta la Dominado, like guys, she is a very beautiful misterio. Misterio, that's one of the ways they call the Alwa in the Dominican voodoo. She's very beautiful and very popular. Between her and Anais Apie, I don't know which one is more popular, but they are equally beautiful and equally popular. So, I already have a video about Anais Apie if you want to check it out. She is part of the Negra Division in the Dominican voodoo. They also call the Negra Division the Dambara family. So, this division is like purely from Africa colors are green red white black and yellow but when she comes in possession she doesn't really ask for the yellow one okay I will give more details about that in the video she is highly respected because she dominates people and she dominates the situations that you're in okay whatever situations that you're in she can dominate the situation and take control okay and when they say that she dominates people they really mean like you know if you have like a love affair like you want to dominate someone maybe it's your lover maybe it's your ex maybe you want like a, a certain answer from that specific person so she's the one to go to because she's very good at dominating dominating people in the situation okay to take over the situation and someone's desire or whatever she is very powerful a lot of people are afraid of her because she has like uh, many faces when i say many faces they, in the dominican voodoo they call that vueltas okay so she has like many vueltas and i will give more details about that later in the video but these faces they are all different from each other okay and some faces are like soft and some are like very violent okay and honestly like all spirits they receive you depending on your intention depending on okay your heart so if you come to that spirit with, with the loving heart so they will okay highly um receive you very well okay but if you come with bad intention and you're not prepared and you don't have enough information about that spirit it can turns out really bad for you so be careful with whatever spirit okay you want to deal with she communicates many different ways okay she can communicate to you through vision while you are awake or through dreams while you're dreaming or telepathically or directly 
they call her mothers those who are in heaven and those who are down there okay so all spirits they highly respect her and she's the type of spirit that wants everything to be clean around her okay you know it's not it's not a stretch to say like she's part of the Dambara family and in Haitian voodoo Dambara is known to be very very clean okay he wants everything to be clean around him so it, it makes sense to know that she is part of the Dambara family in the Dominican voodoo and she's also like that so if you are setting up um, altars or decorations or ceremonies for her everything got to be clean she loves to work in law related cases okay so if you want justice if you want vengeance okay you can reach out to her if you know you have someone that locked him up and then he did nothing so you can reach out to her and she will get you justice and she loves to work in fertility cases too so if you can't have kids she's a lot to you know to turn to and she gives prosperity too she's a lot of prosperity but you have to be careful about that a lot of people when they hear that a why is a law of prosperity they don't have any type of connection with that why they just you know want to ask that law for prosperity it can be very very dangerous okay so if you don't have a connection with that law that thing can be very very bad for you because they're gonna ask you to do things they're gonna ask you to do some sacrifices and at the end of the day you're not gonna even enjoy you know those materials you're not gonna even enjoy those money because you know you did something really really bad and karma is going to get to you okay so yeah be careful guys okay if you want prosperity you need a connection with that law first and then everything will come afterward okay as i said before she's commonly now for her work in love affairs okay so any love affairs related cases so you can turn to her for that okay she's very good at that her celebration date is 29th of july and her day in the week is tuesday and her candles color would be green or purple she likes black coffee she likes eggs she likes eggplant she likes cigars candles and a glass of rum she also works in cemeteries but she's not a demon because a lot of people are in front of her because of that and some people even say that she's bound's wife but this is not a certified thing and remember that we are in dominican voodoo we're not in haitian voodoo so don't get both of them mixed up she is one of the laws that they say you know they were humans before and then they become a law okay she was once a woman in africa okay and the stories that they say about her is that she went to see her father her father was like at uh, the bound of the cemetery and she went to see her father in the cemetery and as she was on her way there she saw a uh, a battle or the snake trying to hurt this kid and she took the kid and adopted and she saved the kid from the snake obviously and she adopted the kid as her own child okay and you can even see that kid in some pictures that they attributed to her okay so you're gonna see that kid with some snakes um, in the same picture but there's also another version of that same story but in that other story it's not a kid that she saved um, from a snake but she saved like a guanas man um, from this big dragon okay so yeah so she dominates situations she dominates people's desires to people's feelings so she's very good at that that's why they call her la dominadora and they even say like the snakes in the pictures they are like her weapons okay so she can use the snakes okay as she wants you know for battle or for whatever she wants now we're getting into the juicy part as I said before she has many faces in the Dominican voodoo they call that vueltas. that means those faces when she comes in possession she may come into different you know faces they have different names they have different um colors preferences they have different feelings you know they are very different from each other and they act differently too okay some are very violent some are soft and some you know speak some don't speak so it depends you have to know which one is in here so the first vuelta that we're going to talk about they call her santa marta de betania santa marta la branca or santa marta la catolica so she's more like the catholic version 
of her she's a patron of family the patron of love and her colors are green blue and white and the second one is La Corora. They use the same image for Santa Marta de Betania for her, but she's more like the African version of her, okay? They use her, you know, when they want to take over the enemies or defend themselves from enemies. And the third Vuelta that we're going to talk about is Filomena Lubana. She's like the more popular one between the Vuertas. And a lot of people say like it's the same spirit, but it's not. Like Santa Marta la Dominadola, she doesn't offer often ask for the color yellow but Filomena Lubana often does okay so that's like one of the difference that there is between both of them her colors are green red and yellow and the fourth one is La Curebra she's not the same as Santa Marta la Dominadora she's very different she's very violent when she comes in possession she doesn't speak she acts like a snake you know just like her name says she's a snake she acts like a snake and when she's here you know the person that she comes into possession into she the person's mind is not here okay it, it's in another dimension it's in another world in the loa la culebra it's giving her you know a uh, flashes you know, it's revealing stuff you can you know to her and the next one is mami wata they also call her la sirena they also call her madre agua she's a water spirit she's a mermaid she's the patron of family she's the patron of prosperity she also um, a patron of fertility her color is blue she loves nature as a gift you can give her a coca-cola the next one is Ezeli Kenwa she is very powerful she's not to be messed with she doesn't know fear and she when she comes in possession she's very violent she mostly speak a Haitian Creole in some languages in Africa her colors are white and black and she loves nature the last one is Gederia. She's part of the Gede division and she's also part of the Dambala division too in the Dominican Voodoo. Her colors are white and black. She mostly does dark work, okay? So be careful with her. She likes alcohol and warm. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. So please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment and share the video please. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are we waiting for so please subscribe to my channel and share the videos and click the notification button so that youtube may notify you whenever i upload a new video so take care of yourself and see you in another video